guys. Happy Thursday. I'm just trying to talk quietly. The kids are upstairs. Um, they're on online doing online classes this morning and then they go to school in the afternoon. But I wanted to get on and share this because this is one of my favorite projects to do and it's turning out really cute and it's all from the dollar store. So it's not going to cost you a lot of money except for the tool you need, but that's not a lot of money either. Um, but I thought I would share. So this is my finished one. I'm going to, so it's just, it's just a simple fall garland. I'll show you how I did the back, but look, I love the way and I always forget to say this. If you can see me and hear me, let me know. It's super dark outside. So I'm trying to turn this, maybe we can do it like this, um, these lights on so that you guys can see me. But, um, I, they just look like real leaves. And I did this with, uh, Christmas trees last year. They were a lot thicker though, a lot thicker. And these are just, I got these wood shapes at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed some pumpkins and leaves. And I think they have ghosts and other things, but these are just a package of, I think there's five in here. Five in here are, six, are a dollar. So go and get them now because they will, I'm sure, sell out. And then this, this one's not from the Dollar Tree, but they did have um, Baker's Twine at the Dollar Tree in fall colors. So grab some of that too. I have this always on hand, so I, I didn't need to buy anymore. And then you need a pair of pliers or I just have scissors down here in my office. So that's what I'm using. And one of my favorite tools. This is a heat gun and I linked it in the post above. This is my favorite heat gun. I think I've used five different heat guns and this one is my favorite. I use it for everything. So this is an, I think it's under $40. So it's not really expensive. And it's an investment that I think everybody should have because I use it to strip paint because I do not want to get, um, turn this light back on. I do not want to get, uh, I, I do not like stripping projects, getting the stripper out. And so this works well for that. Uh, it's just, I use this tool in my rotary sander, orbital sander all the time. So you guys, this couldn't be any simpler. I wanted to add a couple garlands to our back porch and our, the green mantle in our living room. And so this is, I was so happy to find these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, all you're going to do is grab your, uh, your shape, wood shape. And these, if you can see how super thin these are, um, super, super thin. So this doesn't take long at all. So I just hold them with my scissors. So you're not burning your hands. If you have pliers, that would work great too. Um, how am I going to do this? I'll do it backwards. <laughs> Let's see if I can move this. Hang on you guys. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see what I'm doing. And so once here, I turn it on all the way up to the highest heat that it'll go. And once it gets going, it takes a little minute. But like I said, these dollar, these thin wood shapes, they don't take long at all. So, okay, if you can see, it's already starting to turn. And what I love about this is that none of them are going to turn out the same. Just like a normal leaf that fell on the ground will not look the same as another. And you can hold it on there longer to get uh, to get it darker, uh, almost black in some areas. You guys, yeah, you guys can see that. Okay. Um, like I said, if you can see and hear me, let me know you're here. Tell me where you're coming in from. Um, I'm hearing that the West Coast is tons of fires and Utah got almost like a storm that we got the other day with the high winds. This, this weather is just crazy. I hope everybody is okay. Okay, you guys, it's a, <laughs> it is the simplest project, but yet you could always paint these wood shapes too, but I don't know. I was just, I wanted something different and I love, you know, woods and uh, wood tones and whites and natural natural colors and neutral colors. So I just flip it around with my scissors or get a fire. Things would probably be better. I just didn't want to run outside and get them. It's raining. So I like to do some of them lighter and some of them darker. And then around the edges, they kind of get darker anyway. Okay. And then, so you can see, let me grab it. It smells like, I don't know, popcorn or something, but you guys, how simple. You could stain them, but I like that the heat gun gives it a variation. So it's not the same all across the board. And then what I was doing on the back side, this is kind of a tip I've used for years. You can create your own stain uh, and get colored stains by just using paint. That's what I kind of, that's how I, but the backs of these, you guys know I love anything green. So I didn't, I didn't do the backs burnt. I'm hoping, I'm, or not hoping, I'm going to hang them this way. Uh, but I wanted to do the backs as well. You could burn them too as well, but then this gives me two different looks if I change my mind, which I do a lot. <laughs> so anyway, so what I do to make this stain or like a colored stain, this is my favorite green color from Dixie Belle, collard greens. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's kind of like an army green. And then I have, you guys, I have this lid from one of my glass jars and I just put water in there. And literally all you want to do is you want to get some of the paint and then mostly water. And then I just do this. Can you guys see? So I just have one of Gabrielle's construction paper things here. And so I just put it, I try to dry off my, my brush and it's just kind of, it looks like a stain then. And a lot of us, you could use craft paints. It doesn't have to be this paint. It could be wall paint that you have, whatever paint you have, just thin it out really, really well. Uh, with water and then it's like a stain and you can have whatever color you want mix a couple of paint colors together or say i really like this green so i think i might do one garland just of just like this or mix them so i'll do some of the leaves like this i'll put them on the string some of them facing this way and others facing the other way but then look that's just like a that light i have on is kind of it's just like a green stain almost without having to go buy a bunch of stains and a bunch of paints and a bunch of just thin out your paint and if you if this is too light just add more paint and thicken it up and then just go over it darker or here i'm just doing a second coat and it's getting darker with the same so so that's kind of a tip for 
how can I get a colored stain without having to buy all those products? And then literally all I did was um, just use the twine. And I, uh, let me see here. I kind of just threw this in a pile so maybe I can. So they don't move. So I string the first one on and then I leave myself some because this is what I'm going to hang it by. But then I string it on and I tie a knot at the top. And then the next one I put on, I tie a knot. So then they're not moving all around. I mean, you could have them moving around if you wanted to, but then they're kind of, and I don't, you could measure this so it's perfectly evened out, but I don't ever do that. I just kind of eyeball it. And then at the end, I just kind of make a loop. Uh, and then you can hang it that way. So this only has five on it. I'm going to make a longer one for our mantle. I will hang this probably up in our porch, but I just love the look of this burnt, the burnt leaves. They actually look like leaves. And it looks really cool on the, uh, let me do, I'm going to do a pumpkin quick. It won't take long, but I like the way the pumpkins look too. So on the pumpkins, I thought maybe I'll paint them and I'll see if I can, oh my gosh, if I can paint them and then, okay, I got to kind of switch my chair around. Paint them and do the burnt over it and see if that did something and kind of gave an aged painted look. It didn't work very well. It just kind of grayed the cream colored paint I put on there. So then when I did the pumpkin like this, I just, I just like it. So on the back of these, the heirloom pumpkins, do you guys like heirloom pumpkins? They're so pretty. They do. They are kind of the color of this green I just did, but you could do an orange on the back, an orange stain uh, with your paints, kind of do a burnt orange color, which I, I love burnt orange for fall. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing so You're in Jersey and a mild earthquake. Near. What is happening? You guys? We just um, discovered that we haven't had rain since the storm. And so, see, I left that on there. So, so I was looking at your comments. So it got a little darker, but I can just even that out and just hold this on the lighter areas and it'll even out. But we found out that the storm did hurt our porch, our back porch uh, roof more than we thought it was. And so now that it's raining, we're getting rain inside the porch. So I'm telling you, 2020. <laughs> oh, I'm over it. Okay, see, so if I just hold it on, then it'll just kind of even out. But again, I like that variation. And you can burn the edges, the edges of your uh, wood wood shapes too, and just kind of give that definition. But anyway, I love the way the pumpkins look too burnt. And like I said, you can even use like these craft paints. This is, whoa, this is too orangey orange. I would want to add a darker color to this to make it more burnt orange or some red or something to it. But again, just just uh, thin out your paint really, really well. And then um, it's kind of like a stain. I'm going to do those edges. Uh, I'm going to do those edges a little bit darker, but just a simple project. Oh, you're welcome, Nicole. Thank you for saying that. I, I did this last year with, check out the post that I linked above. Um, I did it with Christmas trees. It's like my one of my favorite projects ever. And I actually, oh, I could show you. I actually might, I could do that with these. So, um, hang on a second. So this is with the Christmas trees. I added wood beads in between them. And now I just thought of that. Again, you could stain these beads and thin out your, um, thin, thin it out or paint them a full color. I think on the Christmas ones, I actually did paint them um, greens and whites because I love green, but oh, I have some fun yellow ones in here for fall. So I, you know what? I might do that between these. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. We'll see how crazy I get. But uh, I will put this all on the blog once I get it done and get some photos up so then everybody can find the products and what I use, but go to your Dollar Tree and maybe other dollar stores have it. That's my, we just have Dollar, Dollar, I always get a messed up, Dollar General here and Dollar Tree. I think that's all we have, but I think there's other dollar stores around. So head there and see what she, the ghost would be really cute too. I don't really decorate for Halloween anymore now that the kids are older, but, um, uh, but the ghost would be really, really cute. Chili in New Mexico. Yeah, it's chilly here. Now we actually turned the heat on last night because it was so chilly, but I hate to do that. Go straight from air conditioning to heat. I turned it off this morning really quick, but uh, tomorrow or next week it's supposed to be 80 again. So it's crazy weather. Pennsylvania. Yes, Cassie. Okay. You're in Iowa City. Yep. We didn't have rain forever. Now we're having a week of rain. Oh, enjoy the weather in Ohio. Yeah, you guys, I'm telling you, if I would could tell you three, let's just say three DIY tools that I will not live without. It's a heat gun and my orbital sander, and then my zebra paintbrushes. I just, I love those paintbrushes. They're just amazing. Oh, wow, 100 degrees all summer. I cannot do the heat and humidity. It's just not for me in 40 degrees now. Isn't that such a huge difference? Yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun. You can make them darker, lighter. So yeah, super, super eat. A tumwa, oh my gosh. We Matt actually is from Richland, Iowa. So that's, and a tumwa, I think they used to go to a tumwa a lot to do things. And anyway, I thought I'd just get on here and share this. I want to get, I grab a few packages of these. Um, because I wanted to make some longer ones. So I'm going to get to burning these and then get these done so then I can hang them up for fall. So if you have any questions, always leave them below. I try to come back in and answer as many questions as I can. So, and the link above will take you to this. I've tried like five heat guns. This one is by far my favorite heat gun. Uh, I just used it the other day to take off some paint from some old shutters we have hanging in our living room. I just love having a heat gun and this one has been my favorite and it's under $40, I want to say. So the link for that's up above, but okay, that's all I had to share today. Have a great Thursday. It's Thursday today. Have a great Thursday and I will check back in later. Yes, you do, Crystal. Sorry, I was pushing the wrong button. Get a heat gun. It's like the best DIY tool ever. I use it all the time.